All right, guys. So first thing we're gonna what we're gonna do now we're gonna take our forks, which are here, and I've uh, put new fluid in them and everything, and we are going to install them. Okay. Now, of course, it does look a little different, and that is because I did the head bearings. So don't mind that. All of that stuff, every all of that other stuff is gonna go back on after the fact. Um, right now, we're just gonna get the we're gonna get the forks on, we're gonna get the fender on, and we'll put the wheel on, and then we'll put the brakes on. And we will go into, right now, we're gonna snug everything up right now, for now, we're gonna snug everything up, and then we will go into how I actually tighten everything up. And all of this is actually in the manual. Well, in the manual as far as as far as for the forks, they tell you how it is, how to tighten the forks, and we will get into that. So for right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the forks. I'm gonna tell you how they recommend to tighten forks, and I pretty much I do that also. I do that, but I also loosen up. Um, I also loosen up the fender. I loosen up the axle. I loosen up the pinch. I loosen up all of that stuff. I bounce the front end once or twice with the top tightened, and then. And then I go through the manual's way of tightening up the forks. That way, hopefully, if there is any little tweaks, it kind of will sort itself out. All right, so anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna set the camera up on, uh, I'm gonna set, set the camera up on a tripod, which is gonna be the easiest way for me to do this. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to I'm going to put the forks in and I'm just gonna snug up I'm gonna snug up these little bolts here. Okay? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna have my Allen keys ready. Alright, so I'm gonna slide the fork up into position. Okay. Now the thing is is that this fork needs to be the top needs to be the top of the fork needs to be flush and if you and if you take a look at how the fork is placed in there when you when you uh, take it out you pretty much realize that you have to put it back in the exact same way take a picture if you need to all right so now I want the top to be flush here as you can probably see in the upper camera. All right, that's where it's at. And I'm just gonna sit it to where it is flush, okay? Now I'm just gonna snug these. And we get the other side in. And then again, we're just gonna snug it up not tighten it yet because this is considered the reassembly and also I still need to tighten the top caps now I'm not going to be able to use a torque wrench on the top caps but that's okay because if I'm, if I'm not mistaken it is 17 foot pounds of torque and that is not a lot okay so you don't have to be Superman on this and you know and while you're sliding the forks up there you just want to take your time sliding them up if they give you a little resistance then lower the screws okay all right so that one is like that all right oh. now I'm just gonna oops I'm bouncing the camera here I'm just gonna check this and think that is that looks good a little bit of dirt there just gonna snug these up now okay so it's on page 4-57 where they tell you make sure the inner tube end is flush with the top of the upper bracket so your inner tube end which is down here, not the cap, but the end of the inner tube is flush 
with that upper bracket, okay? So you want that to be flush. All right, and then you can check to see if things are decently even. And we'll switch to the other cam here. By simply sliding the axle in. Okay. And you can that way you can check and make sure that it connects to the other side easily. Okay. Looks going, it looks as though it goes in nicely. I don't see any unevenness there. All right, nice. Okay, so now from there, so it's got grease all over my hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the fenders and I'm gonna throw the fenders on there. Okay, so now let's get the fender and we'll put the fender on there. Let's make sure we're in manual focus here. that okay just like that all right just a little bit okay now all right good now let's put the wheel on okay all right so now we are ready to put the wheel back on now there's only there's a few things we got to do Okay, first thing, remember, we put the we put the calipers on there. So we got to take those off because maybe some of you can get that wheel on with that on there, but I, I sure as hell can't. All right, so we're gonna take we're gonna take some lithium soap grease. All right, and you don't you don't have to coat this heavy. It just needs a little bit of grease on there. Okay. All right, so now if you took your spaces off, okay, this is the time that you're gonna wanna put your spaces on. 
Now another important thing is make sure you look on your tire and you see which direction it rotates, okay? So the tire has to rotate this way. My arrow's pointing this way. So if I put it on like this, it would be backwards, okay? So pay attention to that. Now you look over here. Where's arrow? Where's arrow? The arrow, yep, there we go. All right, here we go. Arrow's over here on this side. So arrow's pointing down this way. Okay, arrow's pointing, or if it was over here, the arrow would be pointing up, pointing this way to rotate, okay? Now, I got my spacers in there. put a little grease on there so first thing I like to do sometimes these little spacers will fall out on you so you may have to you may have to start over sometimes but the uh, one main thing I like to do I'll put the axle in here just to start it okay like that all right now let me just change it okay so now you've got your axle in there it's nicely greased okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under here So you're going to want to go under here and you want to support this like that, you know, pull that tire up. Actually, needs to go out a little bit. Line up those spacers and one of them is off. Okay, try it again. Pull that tire up. Okay. Line up those spacers. There we go. All right. And again, you just push that axle in. Make sure you support the wheel. Push it in. Okay. It's not all the way in yet. All right. And that is in. Okay. What are the odds? Okay. Now, you're just gonna snug this up. All right, just snug. All right, and that's on. Now, now I'll go put my rotors on. I can't believe I lost that light. I squeezed the lever by accident. So, of course, now the tool bag, I need to make space. Okay, so now you're gonna just get your rotor, get your pads in there, okay? You just want to line it up. Just got to line it up decently. Spread that pad out. Reflectors in the way. Oh, there we go. All right. And then snug up your, snug up your, your, these bolts here. So I'm just going to snug up this top cap here and it doesn't have to be super duper tight this top nut is loose okay and I'm just gonna snug this up a little bit not gonna be tightening this a whole lot so we're 
go from here. All right, and I need to tighten that a little bit. It's moving. Not a lot, just a little, just a little pressure. And then let's see, let's see what we get. Okay, careful. And that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Just to snug that up. And if you're not sure, you can always. Do I have that in a. I should have that in a six. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So now we have. Everything is loose from here all the way down. And now we want to make sure everything is lined up. Now, our torque spec for this is according to the manual is 43 foot pounds that's for the axle bolt and for the pinch bolt it's 14 foot pounds and in the manual they tell you to tighten the wheel axle first okay then tighten and then tighten the pinch bolt now they also tell you before tightening the wheel axle push down hard on the handlebars several times and check if the front forks rebound smoothly okay so that's something that we will we're going to give that a try just to be sure of i do have the top pinch bolts tightened down all of the pinch bolts are 17 foot pounds but you have to do them in stages because say if you tighten one too much there's two bolts here if you tighten one too much you know, if you tighten them both at the same time one's going to loosen up the other and you have to do it in stages so we're gonna make sure we're just gonna check those i don't have the torque allen key that fits the top one i don't know where the heck it is but i can just uh make sure that that is pretty tight that's 17 foot pounds and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bounce the front a little bit which is a lot easier because the fairing is not on there so i'll bounce the front just to get everything into a make sure everything's aligned make sure everything is moving smoothly there's no binding and i'll jack it back up and i'll proceed with how the article states now the article what they state is after you do your bounce test you spin the wheel you you whew, give it a good give it a little spin like that and then hit the brake and once you hit the brake you hold on to the brake and then you torque down the axle and then you could torque down your your pinch bolt and basically that will center and align your wheel along with the brakes and the calipers and all of that stuff and then after you tighten your axle and your pinch bolt you can go ahead and tighten everything on up okay so let's first let's lower the bike actually let me check the top pinch bolts real quick my I have no I have this size in a torque but I don't know what the heck I did to it yep that's pretty tight okay now I'm just make sure just gonna make sure that these down here are loose want them loose because I want them to move as I bounce the front end lightly tighten them 
you have to tighten them in stages because as you tighten one then go to tighten the other the other one loosens up so you have to do it in stages Now, I'm going to lower it, I'll pull the jack back, and we'll bounce it a couple times, and kind of go from there. Alright. Kickstand is down. Yep, kickstand is down. You always want to check and make sure your kickstand. You always want to check and make sure your kickstand is down. The other day, I was lowering the bike, and I was gonna set it over, but something said, "Just look and see if the kickstand is down." Sure enough, when I looked, it was up. Good thing. the front from right here okay good bounce sometimes you can do it from here too not really it's a little harder there In. It's actually in gear. All right, just like that. Everything looks to be pretty good. All right, now it's going to jack it up. Okay. Jack back under there. Now, what we'll do, all right, we're gonna do like the article said. We're gonna spin that front wheel, okay? We're gonna spin that front wheel, and then we will torque it down. Let me adjust this camera just a little bit for you. All right. So we'll spin this front wheel, we'll hit the brake, and then we'll torque it. And then after that, I'll do the I will set the the set screw and after that I'll torque down these two forks here torque down the fender torque down the brakes um, 
and we'll go from there. Okay? So we'll give it a spin. And they, I know in an article it said to hold the brakes also. I mean, you probably don't have to, but we'll hold it. No biggie. All right. Now, let's torque it down. And just take your time when you're doing this. There you go. And that's torqued. Well, uh, 43 foot pounds that's torqued, okay? For the front. And then now, we can tighten our pinch bolt, which is 17 feet foot pounds. And again, I don't have the Allen key for this to do it by torque, but I'll just, we'll just tighten it like so. And that's good. Not gonna, not <clears throat> yanking on it just enough, okay? All right, and that is, that is that. I am gonna have to bleed the brakes again, but that's fine. Um, now, we'll go to tightening up the forks.